Aesthetic drops. A bright light is all it takes to fine-tune Jill Balfour's eyesight so that she can see in high definition. Little more than two weeks ago, she had the lens in her eye replaced during standard cataract surgery. But she's one of the first British patients to be fitted with a new type of artificial lens that can be adjusted later with a beam of light. Just 41 seconds gives her vision so sharp that it's far better than 2020, the best an adult can usually hope for. It's incredible, I think, absolutely incredible to think it's being tailor-made for yourself, you know, and um, in any imperfections they can sort of match them and that sort of thing. I think it's incredible. I think it's, I mean, it's the way forward really, isn't it? Surgeons give patients HD vision by removing their own damaged lens and implanting one made from light-sensitive silicon. Once the eye has healed, surgeons fire a beam of ultraviolet light at the new lens, causing a chemical reaction. By aiming the light at different parts of the lens, surgeons can make it fatter or thinner to sharpen the image seen by the patient. Inside this machine, there's a chip the size of a fingernail, packed with three quarters of a million tiny mirrors that can precisely shape the light beam to correct the tiniest of aberration inside the eye, giving patients supervision. Surgeons are hailing the technology as the biggest advance in artificial lenses in 60 years. Lenses are now commonly replaced not just for cataracts, but for the long-sightedness that often comes with age. With the new lens, surgeons at the Spire Gatwick Park Hospital can tweak the focus of the lens to match the patient's prescription. The change is so precise and accurate, we can actually make the lens bifocal or very focal as well. So in addition to giving them good vision at distance, we can actually give them good vision for reading intermediate and distance, so they won't need their glasses at all. Jill is so impressed with her bionic eye that she'll be back in a few days' time to have the other one done. Thomas Moore, Sky News.